is an honorable estate, and therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly. Oh, Mom. But reverently, Shh, I'm serious. Discreetly, I think there's someone wearing a monkey suit. Honey, that's just an expression. Sometimes people so call tuxedos monkey suits, but it doesn't really have anything to do with monkeys now. Shh. Mom, I mean, I Into this please. estate, these two persons this present video, right? come to be joined. Be quiet. If any person can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter. <laughs> Don't rush. Panic. Yes. How do you know that? It's all right, Charlie. It's okay, honey. Sweetie, it's all right. It's all right. Just let You're me go. Acting like you know her. She has followed us. We must have let those ladder down at the gorilla hut. Gorilla hut? Yes, at the zoo today. The zoo? You mean you were at the zoo when I was waiting on you here? That's where you went for quiet contemplation. Honey, if you, if you raise your voice. She doesn't like you. Well, by all means, let's keep her happy. That's right. Uh, uh, somebody call the zoo. Yes. I'm on it. Good. And Good. in the meantime, does anybody know her show tunes? <laughs> She's particularly fond of, uh, uh who? who? Aretha Franklin. Uh, yes. No, Roger Lee Hart. Roger Is she hurting you? Oh, is she hurting you? Oh, what? Well, you see, for years, Cass and I have been going and, and visiting with Carolyn and Richard. That's her mate. And that makes her peanut butter and banana. Yes, yes. And Richard really is very reasonable. She's gotten a little possessive over the years. Uh-huh. You mean to tell me he has a relationship with a gorilla? I mean, a gorilla? And nobody told me this? You know, this friendship is starting to get on my nerves. Honey, if she thinks you're angry with me, she won't be a happy camper. Well, I don't care. You know what? This is my Don't come Look, you stay with Kirk. Okay, okay, okay. Mom, I told you there was a monkey. Oh, my You heard me right. I said a gorilla has cats. Will you stop laughing and listen up? The entire vicinity around Foster Park. Now we need a, a vet with a tranquilizer gun, no lights, no sirens. And keep your weapons holstered. I don't want anybody getting hurt. All right, guys, listen up. We're going to have to head this thing off before she gets to the highway. Because if that gorilla gets to the highway, this whole town is going to go bananas. Guys, listen, you got to fan out. We've got to find this thing now. Josie, Tony, come with me. Stick with me, please. Caroline, this is not the way to do this. Try and remember what you have with Richard. Well, that's a first. No, this is going to be my life. Once we are married, this is going to be it. I mean, we are getting married. <laughs> And they're gonna find the gorilla, gonna shoot her with that tranquilizer gun. Stop that. Well, I hope they do it soon, because I'm supposed to be playing poker in a half an hour. Excuse me? My fiancé has just been carried off by a gorilla, and you are worried about your poker game? I just wondered if you knew how long it was going to take. I don't know, Judge. Don't ask me. Ask the monkey. I'm sorry, he wants us to fly out to the coast? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You tell Mr. Buffington that he has a choice. He can either meet us on our turf, or he can sink his money into a company that doesn't show a 600% profit margin so far this year. But thank you very much. You have a nice day, too. Bye-bye. I'll be on the next flight out. I never realized you had such a talent for take-no-prisoners business techniques. I do, don't I? Part of me kind of wanted to meet him on the coast. California? You'd hate it. It's cold and it's damp. It's not here. It's not this boring town where nothing ever happens. Oh. 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 Sweet angel, that ape is gonna let Cass go, and then we're gonna be married. 
Penny and I'm gonna spend the rest of our lives paying him back for this. That's right. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Did you find Cass? Is he all right? I don't really know how to tell you this, but, um, they seem to have evaded us. Yes, but I'm sure that Joe and the police will find him. <laughs> we just thought we should stay with you. I can't believe this. No, I just can't believe this. Us. Here, here, let me take care of him. Oh, come on, cutie. Pie. You know, it isn't bad enough that my baby got born in an elevator, and then she was stuck up in a tree. In a tree? I mean... Yes, I'm afraid so. And then Cass's dead wife comes back. You mean Frankie's back? Well, no, not exactly. It really wasn't Frankie. It was this lawyer that looked at Frank. Uh, anyway, after all that, I have to have a gorilla at my wedding. I mean, a gorilla! I didn't even know that Cass was seeing Carolyn anymore. You knew about her, too? Uh, the, the whole town knew. And nobody bothered to tell me? Well, it was a long time ago. Well, you know, a man like Cass, I mean, he's bound to have a, a history, isn't he? With a gorilla! A gorilla! Oh, oh. Excuse me, I'm expecting a call. Tough noogies. And don't push it, I'm not in the mood. Okay. Yeah, uh, get, get me Sam Radcliffe. No, he's the only one that can help me right now. Sam, hi, it's Felicia. Felicia Galant. Yes, Wally's friend. So we have a little problem with Carolyn. Right. Yeah, yes. Paulina, uh, did you find him? I'm sorry, did sweetie. We Cass? didn't find Cass. Jeez, oh. no. All we found was thing and thing walking around outside. Yeah, they said their limo got in an accident. Mm -hmm. Whatever. No Listen, way. you two, why don't you just sit down over here, please? Thank sit, you. sit, sit. Are you hurt anywhere? No, I, just, I feel a little woozy. Well, you'll be all right. You always are. Oh, my head. Oh, man. You are going to get a nice big goose egg on that forehead of yours. A lump on my face? Oh, I hate that. Right. <laughs> By the way, where's Dante? Oh, Anthony's minding him until we find Cass. Okay. Thank you for taking care of us, Pauline. Sure. Um, if David's okay, I guess uh, we'll just, we'll leave, really, since nobody wants us here. Anyway. Oh, no, Cindy, do stay. It'll be the cherry on this Sunday of my day. Okay. Hey, Paulina, mm -hmm. you know, I was just talking to David and telling him that I couldn't wait to leave the city because nothing ever happens here, but I was wrong. Something happened here. I found a friend. And, you know, I don't give a damn what anyone else thinks about me but you. I love you, Paulina. I keep expecting you to forgive me. I'm stupid, isn't it? I guess the punishment for everything that I've done and everything that I've did is knowing that you... Is knowing that you never will. But, Paulina, I'm glad I got to say that. And you know I never would have if David's limo hadn't almost hit a gorilla. <laughs> what? Well, the climb up this thing is a little hairy. Sorry. But yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Oh, boy. Okay, Cass, listen. I got cops all over the place. I got, I got a vet standing by, but we're all sitting here, Cass. We don't know what to do. I mean, you have any ideas? Um, she really likes singing. What? Yes, yeah, sing, singing. singing. She does. Oh, I singing. spoke to Sam Radcliffe. He's on his way. She, she likes R&B. She, she likes... Uh, 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 Sarah, get, get your boombox. Hurry up. I have just the thing. Oh, Get over it! Hey, guys, what's the big deal? We sing to the gorilla and then we move on. Oh, right. Oh, okay. 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 You okay. sing. What are we gonna sing? All right. Here we go. Okay, hit it. Come on, sweetheart. It's like I keep telling you. You're a one-man woman, and Richard hasn't touched a banana since you left. It's okay, honey. 
It never would have worked between us. I'm far too shallow for you. Have a good life. Tell me, what, were you really scared? Hell yeah. Huh. But think of the great stories I'm going to have to tell my grandkids about my <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> true. What? Do I smell like gorilla? It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you better hurry up or you're not going to have a wedding day. Why? What now? The judge just told me he's only going to give you six more minutes. That's it. Well, let's do it. Would it help if I told you that nothing like that will ever happen again? Actually, I was thinking about just that. You were? Mm-hmm. Here I was, feeling sorry for myself. No. Sorrier than I probably felt my whole life. And, and then I look up, and there's all these people singing to a gorilla, <laughs> making fools of themselves, so that you'd be OK. And that we could have our wedding day just like we planned. And you know, but either we sort of felt like an outsider. But today, for the first time, I felt what it was like to be in the middle of a big old family. <laughs> a big old complicated cantankerous family, but they're for you. And I just want to say, I can't wait. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. <gasps> No! Oh, no, you can't do that. Listen, Cass is here, the gorilla is gone, and we need you. Well, then maybe you don't. What are you talking about, Edomay? Well, we're not calling off the wedding. Well, Tyrone has a little bit of news that he hasn't had a chance to tell anyone with the uh, wedding and the gorilla and all. So tell him, sugar. Well, uh, you know that Judge Walker's seat has been vacant since he went to jail, right? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to find a new partner, Cass. Are you kidding me? No, no, oh, was, uh, that's wonderful. I was sworn in this morning. Yeah. So instead of getting married by a stranger, Lila and I can be married by our dear friend, Judge Montgomery? Oh. Well, well uh, except for the fact that I, I really don't know anything about how to do it. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you won't be needing this at a poker game. <laughs> My pleasure. All right. Oh, Tyrone. Thank you, Tyrone. I mean, your honor. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. It's for real this time. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, sugar. Let's go. When Charlie called to say the wedding was this afternoon, I said, that's wonderful. <laughs> Except I don't have time to get Cass and Lila a wedding present. And then Charlie, smart kid that she is, came up with a wonderful idea. We thought it'd be 
wonderful. As a gift to all talking to the camera and offer our wishes to Cass and Lila and their new family. And I'd like to go first. Oh, you guys, this wish isn't just for the two of you, but for all the people you love and all the people who stood by you all these years. Joe and I wish you health, a long life to watch your children grow, and that the worst thing that ever happens to you is that a gorilla crushes your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you happiness. I want you to be as happy as Paulina and I are. Well, first of all, keep your sense of humor and <laughs> never stop laughing. And if you find yourself in Florida, you'll always have a place to stay. Mm. <laughs> Cass, my wish is for you, baby. May neither of us ever have to dress up like a woman again. Oh, please. <laughs> I'd like to wish you both the gift of music. May they always be a song in your hearts. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can work through anything. And it's worth the effort. Always believe in each other. <laughs> Even when someone else is saying you shouldn't. <laughs> Have faith in each other can get you through anything. <laughs> well, first of all, I wish that Michael could be here with us. And I hope that every night is like your wedding night. May the road always rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. I wish... Uh, Two of you, much happiness. May you always have your beautiful family around you. And may your family grow and grow and grow. <laughs> they know what I mean. <laughs> what? You're next. We're in this? Um, uh, okay. <sighs> I know. May your house never be robbed or burnt down. I mean that. May you always be surrounded by people who will love you no matter what. Without hesitation, without condition. And he'll give you a second chance in case you ever need it. Well, as you probably heard, uh, the McKinnon family's gonna be growing a little bit in the next couple of months. May you always have what we have. Reason to wake up in the morning, and reason to go home at night reason to look forward to the rest of your days. Anything else? May you always have a good takeout restaurant close by. What she said. You already have the most precious gift of all, your family. <laughs> of course, there's always the knowledge that you don't have to be a relative to be family. My darling Cass, you know, I'm just wishing that Wally could be here right now, and then I suddenly realized he is here. He's here. He's here in every smile, in every joke, in every tear of happiness. And I know he would probably want me to remind you not to take yourselves too seriously. And my other wish is that we remain friends forever. But I know that wish will come true. I do love you. And by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Videotape. This is the most thoughtful, the most wonderful wedding present anybody could ever ask for. You raised her right, Cass. 
thank you. And Lila, don't worry. When I told everyone about the wishes, I also told them that you'd be registering at Robinson's on Monday. <laughs> like I said, you raised your right. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you guys need to dance the first dance? We kind of want to stay here with you. No, it's all right. Just me. Well, if you insist. Yeah. But the next dance is yours and mine. Okay. Got it? Got it. Mrs. Roberts, Corey Winthrop? No, oh, it's Mrs. Winthrop to you. I just came out, the one I wished on. I can go now, because I know you're going to be okay. I will always, always love you. I know that, baby. And so does your daddy and Lila. She wants so much to be a good mother to you. I know. And I don't have to worry about them, either. Not with you looking out for the two of them. I know you'll be looking out for me. Sounds like a good system. The best. Just like you. Charlie! I'm not letting you off the hook. Come on and dance with your old man. I go pick up Dante. What do you say? Oh, I think that would be a terrific idea. Yeah. You want to come with me? Um, no, there's something I want to do. But if Anthony tells you he's too busy, you tell him he can handle it himself, and you come right back here, please. You got it. I love you. I love you. So you decided to stick around, I see. Yes, um, uh, the, they, they towed David's limo to a nearby garage, and we figured we'd stay, but if you don't want me to, I, I can, um, you know. Just shut up, okay? Sorry? Maybe it's the wedding, or the fact that I found my daughter. Or maybe I'm just as sentimental as Carol and the gorilla. But I was looking at you, and I realized that I didn't want to spend a lot of energy hanging on to a lot of hate for you. Cindy, we've all been through a lot. We've all suffered a lot. And God knows what I would have done if I had been married to Grant Harrison. <laughs> but I heard you before. So, if it's forgiveness you want, you got it. I will never forget this. I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> You're a good kid. Thank you. <laughs> nah. Don't even. Don't. Don't. No, leave. no, no, no. I just, you know, I wondered if maybe somebody was sprinkling a little pixie dust around here or something. I, that is so not funny. No, I, I just mean, you know, you hugging Cindy and mm. then... Me having some kind of a moment, little uh, that it was, with Lila, I mean, what is happening? I don't know, it's kind of, kind of fitting, you know? How? I was thinking, you know, when I came to this town, I, I came here to get even with a bunch of people. Now here I am, respectable, mm. <laughs> married to a police captain, two kids. Yeah. I feel the same way about me and Jake, you know? You yeah. have? So I guess now it's Lila's turn. Maybe there's even some hope for Cindy. Okay, I said maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Must be the place. Something in the water. <laughs> maybe it's just... Maybe it's just a day for happy endings, finally. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, take it easy. I just got her to sleep. Wow, I never thought I would say it. What are you talking about? My little brother who put itching powder in daddy's underwear is such a good and attentive father. Is there such thing as itching powder? He told me there was. Well, don't tell him, Jasmine. <laughs> Hey, yeah. you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Matt, come on. Lila was like a whirlwind that came into your life, and now she's gone. Yeah, well, look what she gave me. Right here. I know what's important. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, you guys aren't leaving yet, are you? Uh, what? No, why? No. Oh, well, we thought we'd go to the lake, you know, feed the ducks. Well, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I think he likes me. That's... <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Feeding the ducks? Is that what they're calling that now? <laughs> you notice they stopped to pick up Fred on their way out. <laughs> Honey, can we run that boy out of town tomorrow? <laughs> I want to show you Orion first. See? See his belt? Well, you know the stars? Uh -huh. Yeah. One of the first things he ever did was show me the stars and all the constellations. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? Yeah. Remember, a year later, we'd be married. I wonder what we'll all be doing a year from now. Well, I'll tell you what. This time next year, June 25th, let's meet back here. It'll be you and I, you and Cameron, and Matt and whatever special ladies in his life. How about that? Deal. Okay. To tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> so listen, um, Jake and I are gonna have this little shindig after this thing. Will you and Joe come over? Oh, sweetie, I don't think so. Come on. No, that your chill's gotta be in early days, a little short-handed, you know, with Tony leaving. It okay, home. so he goes home and goes to bed and you come. Well, I was planning to meet with the builder about our new house tomorrow morning. I wanted to plan on tonight getting organized. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I think I'm gonna have to pass. Okay. I guess this is good night. I know two little boys that are fading very fast. Yeah, I know. We were just talking about leaving. Really? How you feeling? Because Paulina was tired. Like, when oh. she first got pregnant the first three months, oh, my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> these guys can't come over tonight, so... What? Mm -hmm. uh, well, come on, guys. We're gonna see each other tomorrow. Sweetheart, let's go find Nick and Remy. They've got Dante with them. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Hold on a second, all right? Now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you something now, because you're all getting so old and bored right in front of my face. Oh, 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 what? Old and bored? Old and bored? What are you hey. talking about, old and bored? Hey. These babies that I'm carrying, they're gonna need some godparents. Oh, you got Yeah, so we were thinking maybe like a law enforcement restaurateur combo kind of thing. You guys know who could fit that bill? We could work on that. <laughs> we'll be honored. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. Um, I, I think we should get him home. Oh, that's home, right. We were, just, we were just getting ready to leave. Uh, Chris. Could you do me a favor? Can you give us a ride home? Because I gave my keys to Sean. <laughs> Already? Oh, come really? on. Have you tried oh, he, to he, dance with everybody at the, every man at the place? <laughs> I did. Absolutely not. Am I going to have to separate you two? All right, people. All right, good night. Exit stage right. Let's good roll. Night. Come on. Come on. Good night. 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 So, you ready to go? No. No? You just said you wanted to go home. I lied. You lied. You know what I want to do? I want to stay out all night, dance, maybe watch the sun come up. What about Dante? I got that taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Good. All right. So, Mom, Dad, mm -hmm. <laughs> we want you two in by 2 o'clock, or you're grounded. Oh. Not a minute later. Right? 
Give me that. <laughs> Can hey. you connect to Good night, me, guys. Good night. So you had this whole thing planned? Tonight, I want to be alone with the man of my dreams. Just spoke to the garage. The limo is up and running and... What's up? Pauline is happy. And she and I are friends again. That matters to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that matters a lot. Well, I'll be damned. What? You do have a heart. I keep telling people this, but no one will listen. You know, I'm under the distinct impression that not enough good things have happened to you. Well, and I'm about to rectify that. That's why I did this just after I talked to the garage. What's that? Oh, two first-class ta tickets to the island of Tankir. Really? Really. <laughs> <laughs> we are booked. We are booked into a suite. At an exclusive resort with its own private swimming pool. You won't believe Tom here. It is a magnificent place. Very, very private. Very few people even heard of it. I have. You have? How? Grant used to talk about it all the time. Said it was the most beautiful place on earth. Too bad he never made it there. Maybe we should go. It's getting kind of late. <clears throat> what about Allie? She's gonna get a ride home from Sean. Oh. 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 So I guess this is it. <gasps> now that's the way to end a party. <sighs> I can still remember the first time I saw you. You know what I thought? I didn't think it was a chance in hell that I could end up with somebody as beautiful as you. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Such an ugly guy. Who would have watched yeah, that? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jake and Vicky were talking about babies, and uh, mm. kind of got me thinking. You too. We're going to have that huge house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Vicky told me something, and I promised not to tell anybody, but she knows I tell you everything. Yeah, huh? Well, you do? Okay, I do now. Okay. <laughs> they went to a motel. They did? Uh-huh. That's, uh, that's, that's cool? Uh-huh. We had until 2 a.m. You know, this married thing, it's, um, it could be all right. With you, Joseph, it's way all right. Way all right. <laughs> this is the best fireworks ever, the best wedding ever, and I'm gonna remember it forever. Yeah, you know, it it is okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how hard it was to plan all of this in just three hours? Oh, no, you know, that's really lovely, really nice. Be sure to let Lila know how you complain about all the work you just did. <laughs> yeah, you see what I have to look forward to the rest of my life? You can take it from me, Sergei Radzinski. With, With a Z. Z. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, dear. You know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, and by the way, I made tea for anybody else who's won the wagon here. <laughs> I'm not. Me either. 
Okay. Can I uh, borrow my sister for a sec? Uh, sure. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you need help in the kitchen? No, 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 no. I got that under control. I just wanted to tell you something. I, um... Well, I saw the way that you were looking at Tyrell and when he was marrying Cass and Lila, and it just made me feel good to see you happy. That's all. <laughs> Vicki. I am happy. And I didn't know that kind of happiness was possible. Not for me. Not after all the things I did. Did you ever think that you would be the one breaking all the rules <laughs> and I would be the one with the cottage and the kids. Not for an instant. Okay, ladies, I've got a very sleepy young boy on this couch. Okay, I'll, Mush. I'll, I'll come with you. Help you tuck him in. Night, night. Night, night everybody. Night. 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 Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I was just talking to Marley about when we first came to town. Paulina, too. Yeah. Well, we came for revenge. Yeah. And whoever thought we'd have all of this. You're right. Come on. I love you. I love our family. this place. Is there anything more peaceful than a sleeping child? Yes. Two sleeping children. <laughs> <laughs> All's well. Yes, I know. All's well that ends well. Tonight on NBC, it's an all-new Dateline. A young woman is diagnosed with a massive brain tumor and is forced to choose between her religious beliefs and a medical procedure she desperately needs. It's an emotionally powerful Dateline. Tonight at 8, 7 central, only on NBC. Talk with fellow fans of your favorite NBC programs at the Internet's most acclaimed chat site, nbc.talkcity.com. Join the conversation.